Hey there, this is Nikki Jones, and boy, do I have a workout for you today. This workout is called Beauty and the Beast. That's why I'm all dolled up, got my hair all hawked out, I got my makeup on, and I'm gonna get beastly in here. Cameraman, can I get closer and let everybody know that it's about to go down. Beast mode, in effect, right now. So we're gonna take a inchworm to shoulder press here as I'm walking out into an inchworm position. Bring your hands back, grab your weights and press up. Walk it out, get in a perfect plank. Come back, grab your weights, press up. And you may not go as fast as I'm going here, but do your best. Weights and push up. Make sure you're coming out into a full plank. Core is engaged. Now you can lose the dumbbells if you need to. Do your best. You're gonna hear your buzzer shortly for a slight break. Keep breathing. Your next exercise is a front lunge to kick. I do have some dumbbells in my hands here. We're going to Add a little resistance to the work. Now you don't have to use the dumbbells. So you want to come out into a front lunge. You want to step back and kick, straight leg kick. Your foot is flexed. Great hamstring work here. Again, you don't have to go as fast as I'm going here. I'm pushing to get as many as I can in in the allotted time. You want to keep your back up very tall. You don't want to push any of your weight forward. You want to sink straight down into your lunge and come up with that kick. Stay strong, your break is coming. All right, so you get a little break here and then we're gonna move to the other side. Make sure you keep your chest up tall, your back is straight, going into your front lunge to kick. This is also a serious balance challenge. So you want to keep your core tight. Do your best. Now if you have to step back and to grab your, get your footing together a little bit before you hit that lunge again, take your time and do that. Not much more to go before that break. Hang in. On your break. All right, grabbing your dumbbells. Gonna get ready for a deadlift. Once your feet hip width apart, keep your weights close. Now you're gonna push and lead with your chest. Make your back as flat as possible. Push those hips towards the back wall. If you notice, I'm turned here kind of sideways here so you can see great form. Make sure your shoulders stay behind your ears. Your back is flat. This is excellent work for the hamstrings and lower back. Keep your weights close like you're shaving your legs. Get as many in as you can. Make sure you're breathing. Really work in the back of the body. Great work. Recovery. All right, we're gonna grab our dumbbells again. We have what's called an Arnold press. I want your knees soft and your core tight. You're gonna open those weights up to a shoulder press position, press them right over your head. You've gotta breathe for these. Make sure your knees are soft and your core is tight. Make sure your weight is not loaded in your heels. You wanna stand up straight and tall. When you bring those elbows together, you're squeezing, engage the pectoral muscle, your chest, and press those weights up. Get in as many as you can. The break is near. Fight for him. I'm fighting for him right now. Press. Perfect work. All right, you've got one more exercise. 
gonna come down into a very low squat position. This is a bear squat. I want you to rock your weight forward. All weight, you're gonna absorb the energy onto your hands. Now make sure you're using momentum here. Notice how my bum is real low. All right, stay low into that squat. Your shoulder is directly over your wrist. Spread your fingertips apart and make sure you don't put too much impact on your wrist. Springy. Use the momentum. Up on the balls of the feet, right back onto your heels. Stay low. You are almost there. Hang in. So you did it.